Let's hope this video is bright enough that I actually come in on camera because as you can tell by looking behind me outside it's still too dark to even shoot my Friday night video outside but I want to get going here and I've been up already for a couple of hours and it's still not even light out um, and that's part of my message today is, is, uh, is because I have been pushing my own limits I've been experimenting with how far I can go and I kind of got inspired by the, the idea earlier this week when I watched a video from a, an amazing guy, Eric Thomas. I've talked about him before. If you haven't seen him, check out Thank God It's Monday on YouTube. And what he was talking about this week, he had a quote that really resonated with me. He said, only those who risk going too far can actually find out how far they can go. Something to that effect, don't quote me. But you get the idea. It's about, his, his quote is about pushing yourself, experimenting with your own limits, and actually seeing if there are limits, what your limits really are. And so for me, it's, you know, it might be a little bit of sleep, sleep deprivation or pushing myself in that direction. Whereas a lot of people might say, well, hey, you're gonna burn yourself out or you know, you're, you're, you're overdoing it, you're gonna do too much. And I don't, I don't really buy that. I think human beings are a pretty resilient species. And if, if this is all my body can handle, then I'm gonna be pretty afraid because there's a lot of people out there who've had to go through a hell of a lot worse than me. And so for me, this is an experiment more in how much can I devote uh, to, to absolutely giving my all to what I'm working on right now in my business, in my family life, and the things that are really important to me, specifically in business right now because I'm really motivated, I'm really working hard on some of my goals. And that's, that's sort of a good segue into what I wanted to talk about today. Right now it's coming up on five years since I quit my corporate job, quit my corporate life, and left the life behind me of, ha of having an employee. That's something I never intend to go back to. Uh, and I figured out over the past five years how to make it on my own. It hasn't always been easy, but now I know. I can look back and I can say without a shadow of a doubt, I know that I can support myself. I don't require a company to take care of me. I don't require anybody to take care of me because I can do it. It doesn't, again, it doesn't mean it's been easy. It doesn't mean I've always rocked it or had, you know, huge cash flow. Um, but it does mean I'm self-sufficient and that stands for a lot. That gives me a lot of confidence to keep going. But at the same time, my, your mind can play tricks on you, and you probably can see what I'm talking about here when I give you the example. I'm, uh, I'm very much an achiever type of personality. I have a lot of goals, I have a lot of things that I want to achieve, and many of them have not come true yet. And that I have not actually reached a lot of the goals that I wanted to hit. In fact, I, big goals that I had set, you know, like long-term goals, like five-year goals, I had set, the day came and passed, and I didn't hit it. And a lot of the time, my mind wants to go into delaying my gratification or delaying feeling proud of myself because I didn't get to these things I want to do yet. And that's not the way to be. That's not the way you, to think if you want to live a fulfilled and happy life. And so I've switched that. And, it, and the way it deals with this new mentality I have of pushing my limits of getting up early and doing, really living my day to its, to its absolute fullest, where I go to bed exhausted knowing that I gave it my all, that is actually where true happiness and fulfillment comes from. It's the growth. It's knowing that each and every day, you gave it your damn all. You gave it as much as you could. And I just even remember last night going to bed, I was literally had this buzzing feeling. I just felt so good because I know that in that day, I just killed, I, I gave it my all. I, I killed it and I felt great about it. And it's an accumulation of doing that every single day that that becomes part of a way of life. And then sooner or later, the goals that you're working towards are going to come true. It's just inevitable. But if you're always waiting for this moment to happen or for this thing that you've written down to come true uh, before you can actually recognize your success, you might be waiting forever. And that's what I really want to challenge you to do today, starting today, if you haven't already been doing this, is really push your own limits. Live in excellence. Live in the moment of, I'm going to give today my all. I, there's something that I've been working towards. There's something that I want to achieve. And I know that it's going to require days, months, years maybe of work to get this thing, but it's got to start sometime. So I'm going to start with it today and, and absolutely do everything in my power in the time that I have to, to maximize my time. Because that's really all we have is, is, is the time. We can't buy time. We can't ever get that time back. So for the time that I have today, I'm going to maximize it. And I'm going to push my limitations. When my mind might be telling me that, hey, you're, you know, you've been pushing a little too hard, you're getting a little tired, uh, I'm going to force that voice out because that's, that's, not, that's a limitation. I want to blast through that. And, and I know that the more I push it, the better I'm going to feel. That's really what this is about, is feeling good about yourself. And so stretch your limitations. Will, be willing to risk going 
too far to see how far you can go. Be willing to risk that and see it because again, trust me, human beings are a resilient species. Read, you know, read the book Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl if you want to see what real limitations are all about. Most of us don't have to experience that, thankfully. Uh, but you can make the choice to actually push yourself and the reward is that feeling of success, the feeling of happiness that you get by doing it. So I challenge you to do that and start pushing yourself in different areas of your life. See where you may have been you know, letting yourself off the hook with excuses or just being lazy because you just didn't want to do the work. Uh, and it doesn't mean you do hard work blindly because I've also been bad at that as well. So I just put my head down with a, you know, a pit bull, bullheaded type of attitude being dumb about it, you know, I'm like, I'm putting eight, ten hours work into something that I could actually have done in one hour if I was smart about it. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about being dumb. I'm talking about giving it your best. So if you can get it done in that one hour, then kill that hour. Do amazing with that hour, and then you're going to feel good about it. When Again, when you go to bed at that, at the end of that day, when you've given it your all, you're going to get that true feeling of success. The feeling of success you can live with every single day and then those goals will manifest without a doubt. So I hope you enjoy this. Please leave me a comment with your thoughts because I'd love to hear how you're living this right now. Thanks.